Hi everyone out there in Pest Geek Land. Uh, Stephen Van Tassel here for giving you another episode of Living the Wildlife. We don't have any sponsors today, so if you're interested in being a sponsor of the Pest Geek Podcast, uh, Living the Wildlife Edition, uh, please give me a ring at Wildlife Control Consultant at Gmail dot com. That's Wildlife Control Consultant at Gmail dot com. You have thoughts about the show? want to reach out to me and give me some ideas for shows in the future that you'd like do give me a ring at wildlifecontrolconsultant at gmail.com all right well i hope you all are having a busy and happy safe summer as we're approaching uh official summer a calendar summer here pretty quickly i'm hoping that you're uh, making money but you're being safe and you're taking care of yourself so that you can keep around doing this for a longer bit of time today's subjects kind of got me stimulated by a posting my wife saw on Facebook. Of course, as you all know, Facebook is the fount of all knowledge and wisdom in our culture today. Uh, Yes, I'm being very sarcastic about that. Uh, So this, uh, I love possums. I mean, I think they're just cool. We don't have possums in Montana. Uh, They haven't reached this far north yet. tough living for them here in Montana to be sure, but um, I have certainly caught possums when I was back in Massachusetts. They're a pretty cool animal. I call them a four-wheel drive trash can. So um, I just like them. So, but sometimes when people like something, they tend to say things that make them look better than they actually are. And one of the things that was mentioned about possums that, uh, let me just get that right off the bat, and that is pos- that possums don't catch rabies. Let me be abundantly clear about this so that there's no confusion among you and pesky clan. Uh, possums can contract rabies. Full stop, period. There's just no doubt about that. Okay, so let me be clear. We're not talking about experimental point, you know, infection where laboratory technicians are injecting the virus into them and seeing if they can contract it. I'm not saying that, I'm not just saying that they can contract the disease. I'm saying something more than that, not just me. I'm basically reporting the information that's out on the literature. Possums can and do contract rabies in nature. Now, Does that mean they are a common vector of rabies in nature? No. Uh, Part of that is their personality. They're just not that typically an aggressive animal. So it would be unlikely for many people to encounter uh, a rabid uh, possum. They're just, that's just not part of their personality. Whereas people are more likely to be encounter a skunk or a raccoon, but So there's a behavioral element, but there's also a biological element. Possums, it is believed, because of their low body temperature, are not good hosts for replication of the virus in their bodies. That being said, possums can and do contract rabies, and that has been demonstrated in laboratory settings. Let me uh, pull up a Uh, a document here just so that you uh, have an idea of what I'm talking about here so um, I'm gonna go over to our to my opossum folder here and pull up an article that I had just because I want to be sure I get this rock-solid secure for you here okay Uh, this is something we definitely want to get cleared up for you. So this is a, I believe it was a letter to the editor, something along the time, because I don't have the entire journal, so please forgive me on that. Uh, I was getting this off of, uh, off the web, and this is from a journal, just to kind of give you that what that name of that journal is. This is the Journal of the American Veterinary Medical Association. So this is a high-end, state-of-the-art, top-tier journal for animals okay this is the journal of the american veterinary medical association this is edition uh it is volume 247 number 11 december 1st 2015 
and this is uh, page 1229 letters to the editor so I was correct it is letters to the editor so the people who wrote this uh, the the authors were Noel K Diana of the College of Veterinary Medicine Ohio State University Columbus Ohio and the second author is Kimberly C Mitchell PhD and Catherine A Feldman DVM Center for Zoonotic and Vector-Borne Diseases, Maryland Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, Baltimore, Maryland. And this is, I'm just going to give you an abstract of what they had to say. And this is what they've said. Between 1984 and 2014, the Maryland Health Department, if Department of Health and Mental Hygiene documented 12 cases of rabies in opossums by means of direct fluorescent antibody testing. The rabies strain infecting these opossums was not determined, but likely was the raccoon strain and zootic of the mid-Atlantic states. To our knowledge, there is no published literature on pathogenesis or clinical manifestations of raccoon rabies virus in opossums. In Maryland, in one Maryland case, an opossum was observed banging its head against a wall, growl growling and acting aggressively, and the public health report indicated that the animal was acting rabid. While it was easy to recognize the abnormal behavior in this instance, in other cases the opossums did not have such obvious signs of rabies. In one recent case, the animal reportedly appeared ill. Another rabid opossum was found dead in one other was described as behaving normally. The overall point of this uh, rather short letter to the editor here uh, was that we have to be careful of these sort of blanket statements regarding opossums that opossums never carry rabies. Simply not true. So I want to be sure that our audience out there understands that anyone telling you that possums can't contract rabies is not telling you the truth. They can and have and likely will in the future. Now, that being said, do that, does that mean we just go out and kill possums willy-nilly just because they might have rabies? No, no, not, no, not at all. The point is, is that treat any mammal that's a warm-blooded creature with fur and gives birth to live young. Any mammal can carry the rabies virus. Is opossums high on the list? No, but they're not off the list. If we're dealing with a snake or a bird, those animals don't carry rabies. Possums can carry rabies. So I want to make sure I really drill this home. I'm sorry for those of you that are, you know, this is old news for you. I get it. I'm sorry. But for the new listeners of our podcast, I want to be sure you understand. Don't believe this nonsense that possums can't carry rabies. All right, is it common for them? No. Do they seem to be resistant to it? Yes. However, resistant doesn't mean proof or immune just means it's hard for them to contract it. I think one journal article I read said that they had to be uh, inoculated, which means the amount of the virus that they have to take in is orders of magnitude into the thousands of thousands of times a normal dose to get to, to convert to rabid. Um, I'd have to look up, see if I could find that article again. I don't have, didn't, didn't find it in my research today. Bottom line, possums can carry rabies all right so uh, make sure that all of you understand that all of us should be treating animals as potential vectors of disease so with possums rabies is one of those vectors all right doesn't make them bad it doesn't make them evil it means that we need to be safe in our dealing with wildlife all wildlife even possums as much as i like possums